Hey everybody, welcome to Adventures with Peps. We have been kindly sent by Warlord Games the next wave of ABC Warriors. So you're going to get a few videos of ABCs. I am putting a pause on my other videos for this week because I just want to get through these and whack them out real quick. So we're going to start off with the Mechana G-Men. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. You don't watch this channel for me to pronounce things right anyway, so it doesn't really where are you guys? You just love seeing the models. So, what we got led by the sinister Dr. Gro Grobari. The G-Men bring zero tolerance to the hideous, ever-changing construction site that is the city of Makana. Detective Inspector Stern and other G-Men are capable of skywalking by injecting anti-gravity fluid directly into their veins to take the fight to reclaim the streets. Their weapons firing lethal 9 inch tungsten coated armor piercing nails grab up. Box set contains 4G men and the auxiliary card. I do love when they come in these smaller boxes. I display all my boxes from the 2008 line. So when they're in these nice small boxes, it makes my life so much easier. So beautiful artwork as I've come to expect. Figures look pretty good. And then, now we had issues with the cards last time, didn't we? So I'm going to be nitpicky over the state of the cards. But that is just me. So we only get the one card. It is looking pretty damn centered and nice. Yep, that looks good to me. Whatever the error was with the Judge Dread ones, they fixed it for this. So it's got the 9 inch nail gun, classic, 8 inch range, long range 16, modifier plus 1, modifier minus 1. They should have done a short range 9 inch, that would have been hilarious. Power 4, flame stun, high power, variable. The G men, look at that. Cool of 2, they're not that scary. Move 5, shoot 3, fight 2, evade 1, shield 3. They are Robot Oppressors, Notoriety 7, Auxiliary Type Alignment, nothing. They are floppies, so they follow the rules for humans. Ultimately, they have anti-grav, so they can cover difficult terrain and blocking terrain. And then they download, which is similar to Deep Strike. It's got its own little rules. Very nice card, though. I do like it. I like it a lot. I'm loving the hats on them. I wonder... And maybe you guys can chirp in at this point. Would these work as like Texas City Marshals? They got like the six gallon hat, whatever they call it. I always forget. It's packaged by Vass. Thank you very much. Let's see if I can get these out. There we go. So much packaging. Keep this stuff, it's very good for painting making rust effects. So, model one. Let's see if I can zoom in. Oh, the power of technology. So this one, he's got a full metallic face. He's got some flash that needs cleaning up, but nothing scary. You can tell that he's kind of lifting off the platform. Now, I'm looking at this. You're obviously meant to chop off this bit on his foot. Not sure if I would. Might be very flimsy, maybe after I've painted him. Very interesting sculpt. Do you like the faceplate? Very cool. And then number two. Bit more human-esque, he's got a nice moustache. A little bit of flash going on. Looks a bit cyberpunky or steampunk. And we've got... Oh, we need to glue this one together. She got separate arm and if I can get my fat fingers to work with me it's gonna go like that very nice oh, falls off straight away and then the last one the iconic guy on the front cover Jewel Wilden he looks like a badass right, I'm gonna clean these up oh that's a big line down his back I'm not sure if that's meant to be there I clean these up, glue these together, and you can see that 
right now there you go that is kit one of the new abc warrior release i hope you enjoyed very quick dirty video and i'll catch you in the next one soon oh boy